So I've just bought the new Infinite Sample Sustainer pedal from TC Electronic and I want to share some sounds from it today up against the freeze and the poly sustain patch from the HX Stomp just to help people hear it in isolation and you know make the right decision. I've had mine a couple of days and I'm going to be selling mine so it's a slightly quirky pedal um, in some ways and despite the functionality so to start, let's um, have a listen to the freeze and sort of for that classic sound retainer sound. Um, I've got a loop here on the Ditto Plus. So it's a very constant, stable, musical sound, the freeze. The poly sustain pedal as well is thoroughly usable. Slightly more aggressive, slightly more compressed, but um, still very good considering you know it's one of thousands of things on the HX Stomp. Now to the infinite sample sustainer. So if I just play the same loop. So hopefully you can hear that, there's a slightly disturbing, unsettled quality to the sound, unlike the other two sustainers. So I've tried to go into the back end and get rid of the modulation, but it's just sort of baked into the design. TC Electronic Support, I contacted them and they've said this is a feature, it's not a bug. So it's just very much the sound of the unit. And some people are going to love this, of course. I mean, the functionality is great, but um, I mean, it's just what I was after. But the actual sound is just not going to work for me at all. Here it is again. And when you play closer to the chord, and if there's a little bit more attack, if, if I play closer with the freeze, for example, you see it's, uh, it's taking a much shorter sample, so it's less disrupted. Most sound retainers will struggle with that being activated so close to the chord, but the freeze, absolutely fine. In fact, let me just cut away for a moment and show how close the freeze gets to the sound of an Indian harmonium, which is sort of the main sound in the drone that you hear in Indian classical music. And it's a great sound, here it is. You can hear that movement as the air goes in and out of the instrument. And it's sort of the sound I have in my head um, when I look at these sustainer pedals. So the freeze does get close to that. If we just have another listen to it. So let's compare that to the sound of the TC electronic pedal capturing close to a chord. See this one's all over the shop, it's almost like you're in a washing machine. So I think if you were live you would probably have to take the sample again, um, which wouldn't be the best. So I think hopefully you can hear there that there's quite a gap in quality between the two units and just the purity of tone that they can produce. I just want to point out one more thing quickly and that is if you are bringing audio in from this pedal um, and you are mixing with stereo reverbs, reverbs will exacerbate this warbling or flanging quality that the pedal has and um, let me just demonstrate that quickly. So that's all I wanted to share today. Um, if you're listening to the sound samples and you think they sound great, well, you're going to love the pedal because the functionality that I haven't even looked at today is first class. I mean, they put a lot of thought into how it's going to be used and it's, it's just really well appointed. But unfortunately for me, the sound isn't quite what I'm after. 
So that's it. This was not a sponsored video. Uh, you probably guessed that. Um, all the best and see you on the next one.